Our next caller is Ali from Maryland. Hi, Ali. How can we help you? Hi, guys. Um, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, Sal, I'm just getting into your book, but I, I use your info from the podcast um, when I talk into my nutrition clients uh, when they ask about cardio for fat loss. So thanks for that insight. Oh, I appreciate cool. it. I actually wrote it, but he keeps taking credit um, for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Uh, my question is, as a female p- body power lifter, what are some of the correctional exercises that I could use to better engage uh, my lat muscles and not overuse traps or lower back? Um, so a little history. I wear a belt. I practice with Boris deadlifts, rack pulls, and stiff leg deadlifts. My accessories are typically rows and shoulder presses, um, but I have issues feeling the connection to my lats on conventional deadlifts. So that's my question, and thanks for your help with this one. Okay, what, what, what's a Boris deadlift? I'm, you got to school me here. Um, so Boris deadlift is a deadlift to the knees, and uh, oh. then you... So you lift to the knees and then you go back down to got the it. floor. So. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right, all right. Boris style. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, no, that's new to me. I've actually, <laughs> I've never, I didn't know that. I've, I've never, never heard of it. Before. Yeah. I've never heard term that. Okay. You know, something with uh, power lifters that you sometimes see, not as common today, but uh, you used to see this all the time is they don't do any direct lat work like pull downs because uh, pull downs are considered a bodybuilding exercise. Um, so if you're not doing any pull downs, whether it's a supinated grip or even wide grip, I suggest adding those into your routine so you can do some direct lat work. Now, as far as maybe priming, prone cobra is a great Mm. exercise to activate the lats if you do it properly. When you do the prone cobra, you have to think about the action of the lats, which is to bring the humerus back and then also bring the, not only are you squeezing the shoulders back, but you're also squeezing them down. So you're avoiding that shrugging position. It's a good priming movement because that's exactly what you want to do before you deadlift if you want to feel the lats is you want to be able to pull them down and back to activate them to give you that, you know, that stability. Now, do you do you have this problem, Ali, too, even with the cue? Have you heard the cue bend the bar before you lift? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, so um, I typically try, like, when I pull on the bar before I lift, um, I try to focus on that pinching. Um, like, I try to cue that pencil between the lats feeling so like pinch the lats together but then like on the lift itself like i just miss that connection so I, like, are my you brain depressing the shoulder blades down as well so after you you go ahead and like retract your shoulders are you also then you know packing your shoulder blades down and and, and turning like your hands out yeah, that the, that's a good question that Justin's asking because it sounds, especially if you're feeling it a lot in your traps and your rhomboids, what you might be doing is you might be kind of shrugging up when you when right. you pinch. The, if you're trying to pinch the pen, pencil, you might be actually kind of squeezing yeah. uh, the shoulder blades back versus more like tucking your, like I think about putting my elbows in my back pocket. Um, I, another thing that will help, that, so Sal talked about the... the um, prone cobra. No, prone cobra. I also would, I would take someone like this and actually do a, a dumbbell pullover right before they go into a, a deadlift. So I would do a pullover with you to get you to really feel and activate the lats. And, you know, I'd probably do five five to eight reps of it with a, a moderately uh, heavy weight, not too heavy to where I don't want to fatigue you, but I just want you to really feel those lats and then I would go right into the conventional deadlift. Yeah, too. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna add something to that. Instead of a pullover, do a straight arm pull down with a rope because the, the reason you why, gotta get the squeeze. Okay, the reason why I challenge that is because if she has a hard time engaging lats, the stand the gravity is working to her favor in the pullover. It's a and it, it, the and the activation will be in the stretch. I though. know, but the the straight arm pull down, I know you like that one. We we've debated this before it's one of those exercises that people tend to have sometimes a hard time engaging the lats Mm -hmm. they do tricep work and they push down and shoulders the shoulders and triceps because they have a hard time engaging now if you understand how to engage the lats i feel like it's well and that's the point the point is in the deadlift think of where the lats are engaged it's not in the stretch position it's Mm -hmm. in that shortened position where she'll need to connect to you're right but the stretch position is is cues it mentally is why so it forces you to cue it where because you're in the stretch position what's that rotation 
attention too of the pinky and the thumbs turning up. And so yeah. if you're doing that within your prone cobra, that's really what you're emulating on the bar. The bar just obviously doesn't move, but you have to kind of think in that in those terms of of rotation uh, to and then depression to get those shoulders. And by blood. the way, no, we're arguing here, but none of these are wrong, Ali. I mean, yeah. all, all these uh, things were thrown at Some you. Some are and- just more right than others. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, Dude. all joking. No, all joking aside. Look, here's the deal: the lats do nothing to the scapula. They don't bring the shoulder blades back. That's right. That's right. That's so why I think, when you that's think, why I think she's pinching the, the yeah. pencil yeah, with her trap. That's not the lats, right? The lats uh, are these big, wide muscles that attach uh, at the humerus, right, the upper arm, and then they attach kind of you know near the spine and, and down the back. And what they do is they bring the humerus to the, the the closer to the body. So you can pinch your shoulder blades back all you want. That's not activating the lats. What activates the lats? Is, is getting those arms back and squeezing them down and back. You got to do that down and back motion. Yeah. So if you do the straight arm pull down, like I was suggesting, when you get to the bottom, you got to go real light. When you get to the bottom, pull the shoulders down and back. Down and back is where you're going to start to activate the lats and squeeze them. And that's also what the deadlifts yeah. is going to look like. And where have, I'm going to try a bit wider grip as well. Like a snatch grip like deadlift. a snatch grip. I have not. No. Oh, there you oh, go. That's, yeah. that's a great. That's a great call, Justin. Yeah, that that just see what that feels like because I know just like bringing my grip a little bit wider, it helps to kind of force me in that position too. And then if you add again, like we've been talking about, like you know, getting those shoulder blades to to retract but depress, so bring them down in that wider position, you might have a little better chance of activation. But what Sal is saying is definitely correct. You're in the you because you already said it. Like you're trying to pinch the pencil. You're you're doing a row. You know, so you're you're pinching with your your traps. You're pinching with your traps and your rhomboids. You're not actually pinching with your lats. And so that cue is actually probably not helping you to think that way. And what Sal is trying to get you to do with the the straight arm pull down is to get you to think of your lats activating. The only thing I'm going to challenge him on is that in my experience, when I try and teach someone a straight arm pull down, it's a, it's a little more technical exercise because they have to engage the lats to do it. And if you just go through the movements, you might not feel it. And that's why I like the dumbbell pullover because in that stretch position you are not going to do a dumbbell pull over your head and not fill your lats you will be forced to right. because gravity is pulling against you in the stretch position and that's what i would want to cue and so maybe you combine them right so maybe you do the dumbbell pullover so you can feel those lats the way you're supposed to and then you you think about that when you go to the exercise sal is saying to really engage them even more and then go to your deadlift do you, do you have maps prime by the way ali I do have maps. I have like all of your programs, oh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> except Prime Pro. That's the only one I don't have well, yet. Well, try try the prone, prone Cobra and really pay attention to the form and the technique. There's no resistance on it, uh, but your own body weight, and it might help you start to connect a little bit to the lats. Here's the beauty of this: once you start to connect, it gets way easier. It's that initial connection. Uh, part that can that can be real difficult. I, I really like what Justin said too with the the snatch grip deadlifts, especially if you don't do them. I think it's a, it's a great uh, movement for someone that's a power lifter too, just to add into your routine. So, uh, and it's really tough to do a snatch grip and not fill your lats. It kind of forces you in that position. If you if you if you stay in a rigid rigid spine while you're in a snatch grip, I mean those lats are going to fire yeah. for sure. Okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks, Alec. All right. It's been a while since we had that argument. Yeah, it's fun. You, you, we, you remember we had that one a long time ago? That was ago? a long time you know ago. What, you know where I got that from? Uh, no, you're not wrong. You're right. You are right. I Just in my experience, uh, straight arm pull downs yeah. were a little bit harder. There to, is a challenge there. Yeah, do you agree? Because, yeah, do you agree because, with me? Because yes. I know you never fucking take a side. Do you agree? Uh, I agree. Well, the thing, because it's They're both. both right. the, yeah, yeah it's go. stupid. Because it's, <laughs> it's hard to get people to not to get past the triceps. Uh, when you are going, you know, your straight arm pull down. So, so if you can get past that part of it and that portion, you can really direct them to, you know, feel a uh, connection there with the shoulder blades well, depressing, the, the, then you'll feel your lats. Well, However, the triceps stabilize. They stabilize in both exercises. But here's where I got that from. I got that from a physical therapist that worked with me and she showed me that. Well, mechanically speaking, you are correct. I'll concede that. Mechanically speaking, you're correct. I'm talking behaviorally. And what I've seen in my past, when I tell somebody who doesn't know how to fire the lats to go into a movement and fire the lats, here's a straight arm pull down because it's the best thing to fire the lats. Yeah. I see the forward shoulder and the arms going forward and the pushing down of the shoulders yeah. and the triceps to do that movement. Whereas if I put a person and I could take an advanced age, never lifted weights before, put you in the stretch position, just hold the dumbbell, 
Can you feel those lats? Yeah. They'll be they'll they'll force them. I'm to on fire. team prone cobra. Okay, <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I'm all for that. I mean, no matter what though, you, you if you're this person, you really should experiment with almost everything yeah. we're saying, and you do yeah. what works yeah. best for you to mm -hmm. get them fired.